We just took some pictures in the Slinky booth. I don't know what to call these. Welcome to a new vlog. The little clip you just saw was a little montage and stuff of going to Selfie World. It is at the Florida Mall. I was about to say Millennia, but it's at the Florida Mall in Orlando. And my friend saw it on TikTok, so she was like, oh, we should go there. So we ended up going there, and that's the footage you just saw. I didn't start the vlog because like it was pouring. We had to run in for our appointment and stuff. So we had to really hurry to get in here because we had appointments, because they do the appointment thing. We hurried in, and it was like literally pouring down rain. So we just ran in. We were a little wet and stuff. It was fine. It was really fun. We only wore the same thing. We didn't bring any changes of clothes because there wasn't enough time and stuff. That's pretty much how the first part of the day went. We just like took photos and now we are heading to the Hampton Social. It was another place that we saw on TikTok. At least I saw it on TikTok and I really want to try it because it's new and they have like sparkling drinks. So I think that's really cool. Um, so it's like a TikTok day because we've seen these places on TikTok and we are trying them out. So it'll be really fun. Hopefully you guys enjoy this little adventure vlog. So this restaurant is actually located on International Drive. Um, it's kind of at the Point Orlando area, I believe. Um, I hate parking in that parking garage, but it's fine. I really wanted to try this place because I saw it on TikTok, like I said. Luckily, the weather has really opened up a bit and it's nice. So hopefully I can get some fun B-roll footage for you guys. You can see this cool restaurant. Hopefully I get a little sparkly drink because that's what they're known for. Hopefully they're open too. There's like literally no one here, but there's a blue martini. That's a cool place. There's all sorts of cool places around Orlando. It's just like, this is a very touristy area. So that's why I pretty much never go here. So it's a new, a little new adventure. Here we are, we made it and I'm hoping we can eat outside, but we'll see what my friends say when they get here. Um, we're kind of in this little patio here with the pub and Cuba, and there's an Asian restaurant. This just like looks really nice. I love it. We got the sparkling drink. The only reason why I chose this place. Let's see if this thing is good. Hopefully it's good. <laughs> It's tasty. <laughs> All right. It's like more of, it's like fruity kind yeah. of. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of talk about the selfie world in Orlando at the Florida Mall just because I feel like this vlog is way too short. It would just be like a three minute video. So I kind of want to give my overview review of the day and like what I liked and what I didn't like. So if you don't want to hear this, then you can just like exit out of the video and give it a thumbs up because that really, really helps me out. But I just wanted to kind of talk about like what I liked. So I like the fact that they have like little individual booths so it's not like just one room and then a portion of the wall is colored or painted or themed It was an actual like cubby hole like life-sized um, little cell almost that people could be in so definitely during like COVID times and stuff Everyone kind of is in their little own individual place Which is really helpful for like remaining socially distant and stuff. So I really liked that about the area um, The only thing that I would like nag on is the fact that um, sometimes like like, it is a little bit more narrow given the fact that like you're in a box essentially when you're taking the photos so you would have to like edit out some of the like background edges because you can definitely see like the corners of the little box I'll guess I just show you like this picture but as you guys can see here like these little edges
edges like I don't know if that would bother some people like it doesn't bother me but that's just one thing that you guys should know if you want to visit here and take photos so basically the first photo that I got here were um, some fun slinky shots and it was so funny because my friend and I were like saying oh my gosh it's like Alicia Marie like I feel like Alicia Marie because of just like the pink and the vibes that that little cell represented we kind of just picked and chose which walls we wanted to do we didn't like take photos at all of the walls because I don't think you would have enough time to get to all the walls if you were trying to if you only had an hour that's one kind of negative thing about all of these places is that there is a time limit which I understand and like to run a business like it totally makes sense to do that just because you know you can't just stay in a whole area for like however long you want and I understand that but from like the guest point of view like I wish it was like unlimited time but I don't know it's just my thoughts and feelings so after the slinky wall we um, took some photos at this blue chair um, but I got this one photo that I'll show you guys um, and it's like this purple chair I really like this little chair photo vibe. It's like a queen. I don't know. I felt like Tana Mojo. And then we saw this cute little candy shop wall and I love that my shirt matched the whole vibe of this little cubby hole or cell as you will. This is what the wall looked like and as you guys can see you can kind of tell like on the edges again like I don't know. I don't know if that bothers you. It kind of bothers me just because I'm a very like symmetrical like picky person but overall like in the chair photo like I cropped it out as much as possible like on the corner here but that's just like my personal preference it doesn't really matter when it boils down to it it's just like me being myself when it comes to artistic preferences okay guys I do not really recommend this but it's really fun to get into the ball pit um, so I have this photo it was fun getting into the ball pit but what I'm gonna tell you is number one you don't know where all those balls have been I'm trying to not be like totally inappropriate but you don't know where they've been and it's kind of weird like getting into the, like the ball pit and when you get into the ball pit all of the balls like they will overflow and you'll have to go run and pick them up this is another shot I have from the ball pit I think that's kind of cute I don't know um, and then there's this like milkshake one which is really fun to take pictures at and everything and there's this New York little segment area to take photos at it says the Bronx it's so funny um, and then this this is my favorite photo I think out of all of my photos that I took it's definitely this one call me and I just copied my friend actually and just had the phones everywhere saying call me while I'm going through what I did I'm trying to think of like the positives and negatives but I kind of already said like what I don't like and what I liked about it then there's this one sliding into your DMs this is probably one of my favorite ones um, just because there's like a little slide and like you know the neon sign Oh, another thing that I did want to mention about the place is they have a lot of neon signs. So if your photo editing kind of like washes things out, which I know a lot of presets do, you might want to avoid those. And I really wish, like, I'm not the biggest fan of like neon signs just because of that, like for photo editing wise. And um, I'm going to be completely honest, like a lot of these don't really go with like my theme and vibe. So if you do have like a really strict theme, um, hopefully from the photos I'm kind of showing you guys, you can get an idea if it'll fit into your theme or not. Um, I don't know if like people are super strict about that these days but I kind of like to have similar colors in my photos if you will so I don't know I just wanted to bring that to your attention as well like if you're gonna go here just know that like a lot of the walls are like very eccentric and have a lot of neon signs and stuff which is really cute but like just so you know like when you go there next we took some photos at this angel wall and I love this photo so much I'm actually gonna use this one when I post on Instagram like my photo dump from the little photo session I had with my friend but this one is just so freaking cute and I love the black and white again with the neon sign it's a little difficult for my presets to go on there not mine but like the presets I choose to use on my photos I went with the black and white theme just so it'll give it that you know vibe so next we have feelings and this will be a really good one for Valentine's Day my like lower pooch area looks a little big but you know it's fine it's just a little silly photo I really like this one too because 
I mean, I'm not gonna lie, who doesn't catch feelings fast when you like someone? Um, so, I like the little lip couch too, that's really cute. And these are my favorite ones, I'm like channeling Adeline Warren, like, if she ever sees this video, hey, like, I feel like you in these photos. So, this is the first one, it is so cute, but I just have my leg, like, kind of sticking out, and that's what it looks like. And then this is the second one, it's in the same location, but, I don't know, this one totally gives me, like, Adeline Warren vibes. Like, I don't know why. So I definitely loved those photos and that, again, neon signs. And then this is just one that I like. We took some photos at a parking garage because that's all that's in my suggested on Instagram. So I guess I'll show you guys a couple so you guys can kind of get a sneak peek before I post on the gram. That's silly, I know. Okay. <laughs> but these came out like so cute and I just really liked how these turned out and that's why I'm just showing them to you guys right now. You know, when you have photos you really like. Also, this leads me into please follow me on Instagram because you'll be seeing some of these photos and I think they turned out so cute and they are definitely my style and feel and vibe. I don't know if I showed you guys the slinky one but this is my favorite slinky one. It's definitely like got that action shot going on so I absolutely love it. So yeah, I think overall, I definitely think for the price and for what you get out of Selfie World, it is totally worth it. Um, you should definitely visit it. It's in Orlando at the Florida Mall and I'm not getting paid to say this. It's not sponsored or whatever. I paid to get in there. Um, I just wanted to do a genuine review. Um, for the price, I think I paid about like 20-ish dollars and we got like an hour. So that's pretty good. There's a lot of options to choose from. Um, there's even like a black and white vibe one, so if you have a really neutral feed, there's definitely something for you, but just keep in mind there's a lot of like neon signs and everything. Um, just be mindful of that. It's definitely a place that you can go have fun and just like take goofy pictures whether you want to post them or not, just to create memories. I think it's like a cool place. So I think that is going to be it for this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more fun content. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.